Hello and welcome to this video of the classics. Today I will be talking about the Fibonacci numbers, number 22. So I'll be talking about the sequence f of n. So the sequence f0 is equal to 1, f1 is equal to 1. And then uh, uh, f of n plus 1 will be equal to f of n plus 1 plus f of n minus 1. Uh, f of n plus 1 is to be equal to f of n plus f of n minus 1 here. So the numbers of this sequence are called Fibonacci numbers. So show that uh, for f of n we have this property. Then we are proved that f of n and f f of n plus 1 are co prime. And then, uh, is it normal to be 0? It's weird. Uh, show that for uh, np in uh, n times n uh, star, we have this relation, then this relation, then this relation. So let's go to 22. So I said this property, it's true for k equal 1. Equal one. Yeah, so f0 is equal to 0. I did a mistake in my question. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. This is correct. So uh, we have this this uh, property, h of k. For k equal 1, is it's true. So h1 is true. Suppose that uh, h at some room k is true. So we get this. Well, actually, it's k here, here. So we use this this uh, this thingy here, and so that proves uh, that. So we do that. We we. We split using the formula, and then we uh, factorize and use the hypothesis uh, and by induction we get that is it's true. So now we call u of n to be equal to minus one to the power n times f of n minus one. So we get this inequality by using the previous result. Uh, this equality by using the previous result. The theorem of Bezu concludes that f n F and fn plus 1 are co prime due to this. Uh, for, uh, yeah, so we're going to set this property, p of n, to be this, to be this. Um, so for p equals 0, it's true here. So then we'll assume that pk is true. We get this. We expand by using its definition. We use properties. Oops. That uh, work, please. Thank you. And you get this here. So p is uh, p of k plus one is uh, is true. By induction, it's true. Uh, so now we call d x y the space of common divisors of x and y. And we want to prove that uh, d f n f p is equal to d f n plus p f p if d divides both uh, in by the previous relation it divides this because of this relation so you have something that uh, f p times something plus uh, something times f n so we have this inclusion and we have this inclusion as well uh, we have this equation as well so we have uh, we have something fn plus p minus uh, something fp. So we can conclude that fp, f and uh, fp minus 1 are co-prime. No, they are co-prime because of the first uh, question, that because that's what we wanted. So df and fp minus 1 are co-prime, so we get this. So the space of divisors are equal. 
and now we can apply the GCD because GCD is a, just a particular case of this so if we apply GCD in that space we get this so now we'll take M and N integers with uh, M or N being none both equal to zero and then we, I take I said that it's n to be uh, equal to uh, non-zero uh, to be not equal to zero. So we do the Euclidean division n, m by n. So we get this with this inequality. And so by uh, by doing the Euclidean division and by dividing here because you have r, you will add n until you get n q. So you do this and then you iterate get this and this is equal to m so we get this uh, this equality so by the algorithm uh, Euclidism, uh, by the Euclid algorithm we get this so yeah we get this and that's it uh, we just do operation on, on GCD by using the algor Euclid algorithm to diminish the rest uh, until we find zero. So that's it, thanks for watching and bye.